People ask me for advice all the time. Like, oh man, like what age do you tell your kids that Santa doesn't exist? Here's an answer when you can no longer afford their Christmas list. <laughs> It's not rocket science. <laughs> when he and my son gave me his Christmas list, I was like, yeah, man, he ain't real. I'm sorry. This is a ridiculous list. What is wrong with you? We can go houses. <laughs> Daddy could put something on it. They come out with a ridiculous list. My second kid came out with the worst list. This is his list. He's like, look, Dad, I need a... I need a smartphone, uh, some Air Jordans, and an iPad. I'm like, whoa, player. <laughs> Santa don't do iPads. <laughs> Santa does Legos and action figures. <laughs> to which he responded, well, I feel like I had a pretty good year, so I'm gonna keep it on my list. <laughs> and then we just uncomfortably stared at each other. <laughs> Finally, I was like, well, I'm Santa Claus. <laughs> I didn't want to tell you. I was hoping that your friends would tell you and then I would avoid it. But you had backed me into a financial corner <laughs> with your $3,000 Christmas list. <laughs> now redo your list and keep it under $150. <laughs> Wipe your tears. It's like we had a young crowd. Here's some good parenting advice. It's the scariest thing you ever have to worry about as a parent. You ever kid see your kid do something that lets you know that they're probably gonna be an awful adult? <laughs> just little things. Just little subtle things that you pick up as a parent that no one else sees and you're like, this can't be good later. <laughs> So you just slowly start saving up a little slush fund for them. <laughs> Go to the bank, yeah, can I get those in unmarked bills? <laughs> Cause what are you gonna do? You're not gonna turn them in. You ain't gonna call like the FBI. I just want you to know, my son is a person of interest. You might want to follow him for a while. <laughs> it's little things. Like this is my son did. He's like, hey dad, can I get a peanut butter and jelly sandwich without the jelly? Uh, no. <laughs> for one, you just asked for a peanut butter sandwich. <laughs> Secondly, why wouldn't you want jelly? <laughs> Nothing goes better together than peanut butter and jelly. It's the sign of a solid relationship. <laughs> and if you don't believe in solid relationships, that means you're probably not gonna pick up your kids on the weekends you're supposed to have them. <laughs> The little things. It's the little things. The kids got it too easy. That's the problem. Too easy. When I mean too, not the word too, but the number two. Too easy. Because they got that two parent love. Two parent love is overrated. I'm sorry to say that. It is. I know it's great to have both parents, but not when you're trying to raise an athlete. <laughs> Because my kids are pretty good in basketball, but they never work on their game because they got that two-parent love. They come home, they got air conditioning, heating, cupboard full of food, video games. Like, why you guys go outside and work on your game? It's too hot out there, Dad. It's comfortable in here. <laughs> Meanwhile, that single-parent kid who doesn't know who his father is hates his home life. <laughs> Mother's always yelling at him. He's always hungry, so he's never at home. Instead, he's at the park working on his game six hours a day, and he is going to destroy my kids. <laughs> This is why I grabbed my kids and told them, this is why I'm leaving your mom. <laughs> They're crying, why are you leaving us? Cause you won't practice. I don't know what else to do. <laughs> my hands are tied. Maybe if you see me every other weekend, you get your act together. <laughs> it's all 
they do? All they do is want. They want the moons, the stars. They want everything. Want, want, want. Then you get it for them, and then just let it rot. They always think that they want stuff. All like my kids came up to me and they say, "Hey, Dad, we we really need a parrot." Oh, a three hundred dollar talking bird. I can see why you would need that. <laughs> However, I'm just not gonna give it to you. You gotta earn it. So this is what you do. You get all A's each quarter. I give you twenty five dollars each for each quarter. That's two hundred dollars. And then if you do that, I'll kick in the third hundred. Now I'm not gonna do that, but I'm just trying to motivate them. <laughs> It's a non-issue. They didn't get all A's, but they tried. <laughs> My son one time gets in the car half crying. I'm like, what's wrong with you? I got, I got two A's and three B's, and now, now I'm not gonna get a parrot. <laughs> and I was like, Brock, study harder. <laughs> Subscribe to Dry Bar Comedy for even more of the world's largest collection of clean comedy. It's tough love in the Bozeman household, baby.